Imagine living in a mold-infested flat with 11 children and a baby on the way. How does a family cope when the council does nothing to help? Stay tuned for this heart-wrenching story. Are you outraged by the lack of action from local councils in addressing housing issues? Today, we bring you the story of Wyadel Asafi and his family, who are struggling to live in appalling conditions. Wyadel Asafi, his pregnant wife Bibi, and their 11 children are enduring unthinkable living conditions in a council house overrun with black mold. This family's health is deteriorating, and their cries for help seem to be falling on deaf ears. The Safi family was moved into a three-bedroom property in Canning Town in 2023. They quickly realized the dire state of the mice-infested apartment, with black mold spreading across the walls. Despite multiple complaints to Newham Council, the family claims that no significant action has been taken. The family's health is at serious risk. Mr. Safi reports that his children have developed dangerous coughs, and his pregnant wife's health is worsening as she prepares to give birth to their 12th child any day now. Mr. Safi has resorted to repainting the walls repeatedly to keep the mold at bay, but his efforts are in vain. The Safi family feels abandoned by the system. After a preliminary visit from Newham Council, where a representative acknowledged the dangerous conditions, no further action has been taken. When Mr. Safi tried to relocate, his requests were denied because the family hasn't lived in the borough for three years. Newham Council states that they are aware of the substandard conditions but blame the private landlord and the agency managing the property, Freshview. Greenwich Council, which initially helped the family move, acknowledges the housing crisis but offers no immediate solutions. Both councils are pointing fingers, leaving the Safi family stuck in the middle. Mr. Safi has sought help from local MPs Lynn Brown and Matthew Pennycook, but has received little support. Each MP directed him back to the other, citing strict parliamentary rules and jurisdiction issues. The bureaucratic runaround continues, with no clear path to resolution. This heartbreaking story highlights the urgent need for action and accountability in addressing housing crises. What do you think about the Council's responses? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more stories that matter. Thanks for tuning into World Fame Stories!